Hey, 42 here. Twitter was started in 2006 by four internet entrepreneurs, and it took three years to get to 1 billion tweets. However, today over 1 billion tweets are sent every week. Here's some really interesting things you probably don't know about Twitter. Twitter was actually created on a playground. The founding team members were at the top of a slide in the playground in San Francisco when Jack Dorsey said, I've got an idea so simple you don't even think about it, you just write. At first glance it may seem that, unlike most websites, Twitter is advertisement free. But that's not quite true. Twitter is a business and it does make money through cleverly disguised advertisements. Twitter has two main revenue streams. Firstly, Google and Bing pay Twitter a handsome license fee so that they can include tweets in their real-time search results. And secondly, big brands such as Starbucks, Coca-Cola, Red Bull and many others pay Twitter for sponsored tweets, which appear in Twitter search results. Brands can also pay for promoted trends, which appear amongst the other naturally trending topics. The cost for a promoted trend in the United States for one day is $200,000. Twitter gave the city of Boston a promoted trend free of charge after the Boston Marathon bombings in April 2013. The trend was hashtag one Boston. But when it comes to profit, Twitter is very different from the likes of Facebook, Google and Apple because Twitter has never made a single dime of profit. In 2014, Twitter made a net loss of $578 million, which can be attributed to its rapid expansion and excruciatingly high operating costs. But why are Twitter's operating costs so high? Well, it has a lot to do with the fact that 500 million tweets are sent every day which is an astonishing 6,000 tweets per second. All those messages take an awful lot of processing power and storage. A single day's worth of Twitter posts would fill a 10 million page book. The person with the most followers on Twitter is Katy Perry, who has 68 million followers. Second is Justin Bieber and third is Barack Obama. The most followed brand on Twitter is YouTube, which has 50 million followers. Twitter wasn't always called Twitter, and it didn't always have a bird as a mascot. When it launched, it was called Twitter without vowels, and it looked like this. When it was being created, Friendstalker was also considered as a potential name. Twitter later added its famous blue bird as its mascot, who by the way is called Larry, named after basketball player Larry Bird. Twitter was responsible for starting the hashtag phenomenon. The first ever use of the hashtag on Twitter was hashtag Barcamp, posted by an open source software advocate, Chris Messina, who thought it would be a good idea to use the hashtag to signify a group. Chris was inspired by the hashtag's heavy use in IRC chat rooms. He is now referred to as the hashtag godfather. We've all heard of a hashtag, but how about a cash tag? Cash tags, which start with a dollar sign, are used on Twitter by Wall Street tweeters interested in tracking the news around stocks. Speaking of news, Twitter has become the de facto source for global news. When something big happens around the world, news of it spreads on Twitter via hashtags faster than any other news source in the world. Because of this, Twitter is now the primary resource for the majority of TV news stations. Twitter is seen as the home of super fast and often instantaneous communication. So it may come as a surprise that between 2008 and 2010, to help keep the site online, Twitter had, quote unquote, a guy with a pager. The pager would rotate between four people who would constantly monitor Twitter to check if it went offline. 
These days, they're a bit more high-tech and use automated monitoring systems to keep the website online. Twitter has 288 million active monthly users, 80% of whom access the service through mobile devices. In the early days of Twitter, they were thinking about introducing a worship button. If you worship someone, you would get every single one of their messages. But the idea was ditched. Twitter CEO Dick Costolo said that any Twitter employee can launch any test to 1% of users without any senior approvals. The most retweeted tweet ever was by Ellen DeGeneres with her star-studded selfie tweets at the 2014 Oscars. It got 3.4 million retweets. Tweets containing hashtags receive two times the levels of engagement than those without hashtags, yet only 24% of tweets actually contain hashtags. Twitter is on Twitter, but Twitter is also on Facebook. And Facebook is also on Twitter. Twitter is also on YouTube. And YouTube is on Twitter. There is a Twitter account called Every Word that has manually tweeted every single word in the English dictionary. The task took them seven years to complete. There is also a Twitter account with the username SignOut that has only ever tweeted once but has 1,435 followers. Why? Because apparently some Twitter users think that they can sign out of Twitter by following the account. Visiting either twitter.com with an extra T or twitter.com missing a T will both redirect you to the official website. The average number of followers of all users on Twitter is 208. The FBI has a dictionary of Twitter slang. In order to promote diversity, the official Twitter account of Sweden is given to a new random citizen every week to manage. The Library of Congress is archiving every single tweet sent by an American citizen because they believe that every tweet is an important part of the national narrative of American history. Their database of tweets is over 150 terabytes and growing. The CIA also reads up to 5 million tweets a day. 44% of Twitter users have never sent a single tweet. A report found that over 50% of Justin Bieber's Twitter followers are fake. According to the Vatican, you can reduce the time that you spend in purgatory by following the Pope on Twitter. And finally, Twitter may not yet be making a profit, but it is worth $31 billion, and it is the eighth most visited website on the internet. Thanks for the view, subscribe for more 42.